Take a look at this number, root 49. Well, we should all know that that's 7. Root 144 is the number 12. Why? Because 49 is a square number. In fact, it's 7 squared. 144 is a square number. It's 12 squared. So when you find the square root of such numbers, they are whole numbers. Here are some more examples that you should be familiar with. So if we take a perfect square number and we take its square root, we get a whole number. In algebraic terms, if we take a squared, take its square root, we get a. So a squared is a square number, square root it, you get a whole number like that. But root 3 is not a, a perfect square, but if you square it, then you'll get a whole number, because root 3 squared is 3. Also, if you take uh, the cube root of 4, now that's not going to be a whole number, but if you cube that, you'll get back to 4, which is a whole number. So, in terms of squares, the rule is that if you square the square root of something, you get back to that number. Once again, a rule which should be remembered. Now, you should all be familiar with simplifying algebraic expressions like that. 3x plus 7x just simplifies to 10x. But what about 3 root 2 plus 7 root 2? Well, the rule is just treat the root 2 part like the x in an algebraic expression. So 3 root 2's plus 7 root 2's is 10 root 2's. There, the x and the root 2 are sort of behaving in the same way. Another example, 4 my, 4y minus y is 3y. 4 root 5 minus 1 root 5 is 3 root 5. So, in general, if I have a root c plus b root c, I've got a plus b times root c. Of course, we can only add them together if they have the same square root number. In this case, 5s, in this case, 2s. That's the rule to remember. Let's summarise. If you take the square root of a number and then square it, you get back to the number. Or the other way around, if you've got a square number and you square root it, you get the square root number like that. And if you add together two square roots of the same type, then it's just like adding algebraic expressions. So those are the three rules that you should remember from this little clip.